Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to program your outputs when you are using PID or Vent Saver Control. Um, so first thing we need to do is make sure that we've got PID mode set. So we'll hit the next button and our set will be displayed. And then you want to go ahead and press 443. So 443. Now we see RP, which is what we want. If you see our dash, um, you'd want to press the one button to toggle back. Zero will toggle you back to the R dash. But RP is displayed, so we want to go ahead and press enter. So now the next thing we need to do is program our vents. So we'll start with vent one. And we want to make sure it's set to auto, so if it's not, we'll just keep hitting vent one until auto is displayed. And then press enter. Now it's asking you for your step size. So we're going to do a step size of three. Press three and press enter. So right now our target temperature is 75. So that means that uh, vent one should come on at 78. So we're not quite there, but when it flip, if it were to go to 78 degrees in the greenhouse, vent one should go ahead and start opening. So next thing we need to do is program our percentages. So we'll press PCT one. Now PCT one, we want to type in the you know the minimum amount, the first percentage you'd like it to open to. So I'm going to go ahead and do 10 for the PID control. Now. It's going to ask you a series of five different percentages, but with PID control, we need to program two through four the same as percent one. So we're going to type in 10 for percent three here and four as well. Press enter. Now percent five, we're at 99, uh, which is basically completely open. So if we want to change that, let's say it's winter time, we only want it to open halfway when it's completely open. So we'll type in 50. And so now the vent will only open to 50% at its max. It won't open any farther. So we'll go ahead and press enter. So now that we've got that set, we'll go ahead and set vent two. So same thing with that. If it's not set to auto, make sure it is. Press enter. Enter your step size. So we're gonna enter a step size of five. So with our target temperature at 75, our output temperature for vent two should come on at 80 degrees. So then you want to go ahead and program the percentages for vent 2. So again, PCT1, that's the minimum, you know, the, the first percentage you'd like it to open to. So let's say we want to do 15 for, for PCT2. So then that goes for the same. We have to do 2, 3, and 4, all 15. And press enter after each one. Now we're back to percent 5, so this is the max you want to allow this one to open. So let's say we want to allow it to go fully open, so we'll leave 99 and press enter. So now that we've programmed those, we need to program our full open time so it knows what percentage is what amount of time. So we'll hit the back button, actually, until we go to full, and then we're going to press enter. Now it's asking for your seconds, so how long does it take for vent 1 to open? So let's say it takes 320 seconds for vent 1 to open, type that in and press enter. Now it's asking you for vent 2. Our vent 2 takes about 320 seconds. So we'll go ahead and type that in and press enter. And now we're back at the idle screen again. Now the next thing we need to do is program our hysteresis. And in PID mode, most of the time, we uh, want a hysteresis of 1. So go ahead and press the next button until HYST is displayed. And then press enter. You want to make sure that's set to 1. If you want a, a little bit looser control, um, you can set it to 2 or 3, so it'll, it'll have a slightly larger swing in temperatures, but um, it will be more efficient. But the smaller your hysteresis, um, the tighter temperature control you'll have. So we'll, we'll have that set at 1, and then we want to go ahead and set our heat 1 and 2, so we'll press heat 1. Want to make sure it's at auto again, like before. Press the enter button when it's at auto. Now you want to type in your step size. So I will type in a step size of one. So again, our target temperature is 75 degrees for the greenhouse. So that means our output temperature for the heat one is at 74. And with that hysteresis of one, that means that heat one will come on at 73 degrees and it will kick off at 75 degrees. So that's one degree above and below its output temperature. So now the same goes for heat two. We want to make sure that's at auto. We're going to program a step size of three for heat two. And press enter. 
and now again our output temperature for heat 2 now that would be 72 degrees because our target is 75 and that means it'll come on at 71 and it'll shut off at 73 degrees so that should be everything you need to know about programming for PID control so remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our e-newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!